What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome to this week's vlog. I am back on my camera. I am so excited because Oh my god, I just miss my camera so much and vlogging on my phone is kind of a pain in the ass to be honest with you So anyway, I'm back if you're new here hit that subscribe button for everyone else. What's up fam? I am actually on my way to go get my nails done right now I'm gonna be late per usual, but it's okay. My nails are so grown out from My Napa trip. It's been so long, but my nails last forever, which is the best I do hard gel I'll give you the whole spiel after my nail appointment because I gotta go but it's time honey. It's time all right Nails are done. I got a pedicure too, you guys. I haven't gotten a pedicure in so long and it felt amazing. Okay, here they are. I have just been obsessed with this color lately, you guys. I don't know what's happening. You saw my phone case last week, my sweatshirt, and I just said, let's do some fun little, you know, French little tips. But I just think they're so cute. I got my toes the exact same color as the tips. What do we think? My mask completely destroyed all my makeup. So that's cool. Anyway, I'm headed home. I have class tonight. I do have to get like two reels done and sent over for approval. So I got to get home and do that. But I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. morning we're in my bathroom right now that's why it's so echoey in here i'm about to go to workout class and i wanted to share my skincare routine i shared this on instagram before but i wanted to share my skincare routine that i do before the gym because i feel like when you sweat i don't know i don't like doing like a full skincare routine before i go to the gym because i don't like like pounding serums and moisturizers into my pores before i go sweat it feels counterintuitive i don't know so i want to share with you what i do in the mornings so I basically just rinse my face with cold water. Need a face cloth. I don't even do warm water or any type of soap in the morning. Just because I don't feel like, with my like dry sensitive skin, I don't want to be like over washing my face where I'm not keeping the good oils. So I just splash it with some cold water to kind of like wake things up. And then I'll go on with the toner. I'll either use my Thayer's toner or my facial radiance pads from First Aid. So I kind of rotate between these two. I think I'm gonna use my Thayer's toner today. I just do like, I don't know, a little bit of this in my hand, rub it together and then press it into my skin. It feels very like refreshing, if you will. It's so nice. Let that dry down. And then my last step is to do some thermal spring water. This is from La Roche Posay. I don't, like I said, I don't like putting on a thick moisturizer, but even though, but since I have dry skin, I need something on top of the toner. So I feel like this settles in nicely and just kind of, I don't know, moisturizes the face in like a non thick moisturizer greasy way, if you understand what I'm saying. Honestly, this stuff is like the most refreshing thing. And I like coat my face pretty well. Like you can see, I look wet. Face looks damp. Just let that dry. And that's all I do for the gym. The other thing I wanted to show you guys was on Monday, I spent the day purging, like purging all product and organizing and all that. So I wanna show you kind of what the situation looks like down here, what I've been using, and I'm just very proud of this. Okay, so here's my little Lazy Susan. Got this at the container store. I actually saw one on Amazon. I saw a little, like a tall wooden case, not case, but like, I don't know, like a multi-layer thing on Amazon that I think I wanna get instead of this because this thing fills up really quickly. And it's honestly, like it's nice if you don't have as much product as me, but I feel like I'm still like looking for stuff in here. So anyway, I digress. So the, here's what I've been using at night for the last few nights, I've been using the Murad Retinol line. So there's a serum, an eye serum, and a wrinkle cream, and a night cream. So I've been using that. It's only been a couple nights, so I can't really tell you anything about it, results or anything yet, but I, I was dying 
to start incorporating a retinol, but I couldn't do that while I was breastfeeding. So now that I'm done, I can. And then during the day, so after the gym, I will do some kind of cleanser, probably, do, do, do. here's all my cleansers, it's kind of absurd. Probably the deep clay, uh, or deep cleanser from first aid, or I love the, the La Roche Posay. I actually haven't tried this one yet, but I've been wanting to try the theirs. Anyway, so I will cleanse. And then when I get out of the shower, I have been using my Alginus products. So I really love this Alginus collagen serum. I just started using this, so we'll see, but it is a vitamin C from Alginist. Then I'll do their eye cream, boop a doop, and the collagen moisturizer, boom. And then I actually also just recently started using their Moisture Veil, which this is one of those products that leaves like a really nice like sheen on your skin and it moisturizes, has niacinamide, which is for brightening. So that's what I've been using right now. Oh, the other thing I use at night See what I mean? Like this just isn't that, it's not that good. The other thing I use at night on top of the retinol is my Josie Moran Argan Oil because I do get dry from retinol. So this is my little, oh God, see, it's kind of annoying. This is my little situation. So let me show you what I did the other day. I cleaned out the, I should have showed you the before because it was honestly horrific. And I still need to go through these two bins right here. This is just like, old makeup that I like am procrastinating getting rid of because I don't know if I'm ever going to use it because I'm a pack rat and then unopened stuff that I need to go through and then extra product back there, extra product over here and then some stuff that I want to try that I've gotten in PR that I need to try at some point. Okay and then I have a closet in my other bathroom that has like back stock of everything else so that's the current situation. Like I said, I'm pretty proud that I that I cleaned everything out, but um, I'm gonna head to the gym. That's my skincare routine. You guys can see my skin with nothing on it. The other thing, last thing I'll tell you about that I like to use, you guys have probably seen me talk about this before, but this is the number 12 face tanner from Lux Unfiltered. I love to do this like after the gym, a couple days a week, just to give my skin a little bit of color because I'm so pale. I am. All right, I gotta get to the gym. I almost always put Vaseline on my lips after my skincare, because my lips are very dry. Okay, now I'm really done. So I have some time before the gym, I realized my class isn't for, well, actually I need to leave in like 15 minutes, but so Logan and I are just on floor playing. We literally move him from the living room to our bedroom, to his room, just to like give him different stuff to look at and different stuff to play at, cause he play with, he gets so bored so easily. We're playing with the little stuffed animals. And this is his nursery, I barely, barely vlog in here, but I actually have a nursery tour on my channel. If you guys wanna check that out, has like links to everything. We got these mesh bumpers because he was sticking his arms through the crib and like getting them stuck and it was waking him up and it was a whole thing. But now what he's doing is just ramming his head into the crib, aren't you? He'll just like, cause he can crawl now so he can just pull himself up and he's just ramming his head into the crib and we're like, dude, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure that's what we want, right? So I looked up some padded bumpers, but I'm just like not in love with any of the ones that I found. I was just quickly looked on Amazon. So if you guys have recommendations, if your kids ever did this, what do you recommend? Also, we're thinking about lowering this mattress because he'll pull himself up now and he won't fully stand, but he'll pull himself up a little bit if he's awake and we're like, you need to be lower so that you can't get out of this. So yeah, life of a with a seven month old, right? Like with a seven month old? He's gonna be eight months in March. I'm like, what is happening? Time is just completely flying by. So we just have like little stuffed animals that I like to play with with him. He is obsessed. Hey, don't fall, don't fall over. Can I see this please? I want to show people what your favorite things are. He is obsessed with these books. We bought a bunch of these at Target. So there's like different animals and different versions, but this is like never touch a tiger. And then every page has just like different kind of gummy stuff when we read him books like this every night before bed. That's part of our bedtime routine. So we have this one, we have a porcupine one, we have a panda one, and we like leave them around the house because he crawls after them. He, he's by, beyond obsessed. Is it, these are his favorite things. Like he, he's like over here panting, losing his mind. Aren't you? Because you love these. 
Here you go, you can have it back. Other thing we just got, overnight diapers. He still is not sleeping fully through the night. He's waking up usually only once, but the last couple of nights he's been like waking up and then like I'll, I'll feed him a little bottle, I'll put him back down and then 10 minutes later he'll wake up again. And I'm like, so I have to come back in here. Like I try and give him time to let him put himself back to sleep, but it doesn't always work. So I'll have to come back in here and like get him down again. And then he sleeps till 7.30. So he's doing like seven to two or three. And then when I finally get him back down, whatever time, 3.30, 2.30, whatever to 7.30. So it's really okay. It's manageable. I get up with him in the night. Ethan gets up with him in the morning so that I can sleep a little longer. It works, but I'm just like, are you ever gonna sleep through the night? When did your kids sleep through the night? We just thought it would have been sooner. <laughs> We're feeding him. We feel like we're doing everything that we can do and he's just not there yet. So let me know Let me know lastly I've been meaning to show you guys this stuff that I got for him from H&M I mentioned it in last week's vlog and then I never opened up the package for you guys. So I love H&M stuff for babies I feel like it's good quality like soft stuff that I don't feel weird about. Like sometimes with these like smaller boutiques or even like Zara, I feel like quality doesn't feel that nice. I feel like the Zara stuff's nice and soft. My hair is literally everywhere. It's disgusting. I feel like the Zara stuff is really nice and it's so well priced. Like I got him so much stuff for like 150 bucks and I got so much stuff. So I got just a bunch of onesies. I love, I just like the neutral t-shirt onesies. I'll just open one up to show you guys like so cute little yellow little green little tan and then a bunch of crew neck sweatshirts for fall so i got this cute little orange one i got this little one with a little sunrise on it these two came, just came in these are little lions and then just a plain tan crew i just think these are gonna be perfect for spring and even right now, like when we put him in a t-shirt onesie, just to throw that on top if we're like walking with him outside. Then I got a couple pairs of these joggers. I just thought these were the freaking cutest things ever. I got a blue pair and a green pair and they're like, his legs are so big, they're kind of tight on him, but they have like the cinched ankle. So cute. And then I also got a like a four pack of these types of pants, bunch of different colors, black, tan, blue, whatever. I just thought these were super cute and they're easy to throw on. So that's pretty much what I got him, but I just highly recommend H&M for baby stuff. I did, like I told you guys, I did Zara and like, I felt like the sizing was really weird. He's literally trying to rip this tripod down. <laughs> I felt like the sizing was really weird and I didn't love the quality. So anyway, I had to share this cutie stuff with you. Okay, we're done, honey. Okay, so I'm quickly, just gonna do like a very quick makeup application just so I feel a little more put together because I am gonna do a little, do a little errands. God, it's so hard to talk and focus at the same time. So um, I think I'm gonna take Logan and we're just gonna like maybe go to Target somewhere. I'm on the hunt for a vanity. I'm on a mission. I have told you guys this. I, <laughs> I have had my YouTube channel for I don't even know how many years now. And I have not, well, I did have a vanity at one point. It was kind of a piece of crap, to be honest. And I wasn't filming at the vanity where like the vanity was in front of me. The vanity was always behind me as part of my background. If you're an OG, you remember that. So I have just been dying, even just as a person, not even like for my channel, I have just been dying to have a vanity in front of my window where I can sit and do my makeup and also film. So I have this space right here where I'm sitting you guys know I usually just sit on the floor and do my makeup with you guys, but I really just want a vanity and a chair and I just want, I want that. I feel like it's time for that. So anyway, I'm running out. I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I think Logan and I, Logan and I are gonna go on a little field trip, a little mommy baby time, because he is just waking up from his nap right now. And this is usually the time of day where we're like, let's take him for a drive or do something because he just gets kind of stir crazy here and a little bored. That's my plan, I'm just gonna, throw some makeup on and be out the door. <laughs> Someone's awake. I hated the braids. Took them out, threw a hat on because the hair is just, it's, it's not it today. 
we are out the door. We just gotta pack Logan's bag and we'll go. I'm just trying to show you guys my outfit, but this just kills the mood. Such good posture. I know. You're sitting up so good. So well. Okay, so I'm just wearing my uh, this jacket from 12th Tribe. The leggings are the ones that I got from Good Movement. Little white cami hat and my white converse. So yeah. All right, came to Target. <laughs> Completely struck out. Then Logan started doing that and I was like, we are out of here. So I'm giving up. What are those noises? This is why I online shop. Cause what, what is the point? All right, so got home and I basically spent the afternoon looking up vanities online. Cause I'm just like, why don't I just try and online shop it? But it's like such a pain in the ass. I'm honestly very annoyed because I just can't find what I want. I don't really know what I want. And I feel like I'm just gonna need to pull the trigger on something that I'm not like obsessed with because I don't have a house and like a room. Like the dream is a room and I just don't have that right now. So I don't know. I'm on Amazon, Target, just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. Can you help me please? Help mama. Anyway, Ethan just ran out to the store to get some beers and buns because he is making chicken sandwiches tonight and we ran out of beer. And there's a big snowstorm coming tomorrow. So I was like, are you okay? I just told him to stock up and get some stuff. So, so he has this little skip hop stand up thing. Okay. And like, he gets frustrated, but also poops in this chair. And he's just drooling all over himself anyway. So I'll, um, maybe we'll make the chicken sandwiches together on the vlog so you guys can see what all he does because his chicken sandwiches are so good. Uh -huh, I hear you, we're done. Mm -hmm. So Ethan said people are losing their minds at, at the grocery store because of the snowstorm and he was in hell. But he secured the goods. This is probably one of my favorite beers, the Kona Big Wave. Oh, so, good. so good if you guys haven't tried it. And I see you got some Guinness for yourself. Yeah, just I mean, I like it, You love a Guinness sometimes. Buns. What'd you get? Oh, Dave's. So it's like pretty healthy in terms of bread. Cheese. All right. I figure we show them how you make your chicken sandwiches. Okay. Because. Oh, this is your phone. Because you're so good at it. That's what I start with. Okay. We just have to ignore the Logan noises. <laughs> so, chicken, what is this, thighs? Are these thighs? Yes. Boneless, skinless. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Okay. All right, mixing up seasoning. Salt, Salt garlic powder. Garlic. There's gonna be smoked paprika, or just, I'm gonna use regular paprika. Okay, do it. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, nice. Big wave. Paprika. Our child. Now what? Okay, I got my chicken thighs laid out, and then I'm just gonna just, oh, on the side. Flatten them out a little bit, because they're all, uh, chicken thighs are a little uneven. So I'll flatten out the fat side. This also makes them a little more tender, hence the name tenderizer. That's about it there. Then all I'm gonna do is put the seasoning on them and put them in the air fryer. That's about it. Okay, so you're gonna put this on it and yeah. then put them in. Let me show you guys our air fryer. Logan, can you stop doing that? Like he can listen to me. This is our air fryer. We use the Ninja. Yeah. Is that our neighbors? Yeah, it's Oh my God, are they mad at us? Cause you were tenderizing the chicken? Whoa, that was wild. We think, our, we think our neighbors are trying to fight us. Real? I mean, that had to be that because what else? That was too weird of a coincidence. I'm not even wow. It's 6.30. You can tenderize chicken. We All live right. here. That's what I mean. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, we use the Ninja. The uh, Air Fryer. I don't know. I'll find a link for you guys. This one's actually, it's called a foodie, I think. I... It's like, an, it's like a I'm more... It's more things than just an air fryer. Yeah, it does a lot. It's like a, it's like a steamer, um, you know, pre air pre pressure, pressure cooker. That's it. There you uh, go. It you does, got it. Like a, it's a slow cooker. You can saute stuff in it. I, I bought the wrong one. Okay, we're done with this. Put the chicken in. Then <laughs> you're done. Chicken. Chicken's air Come fried. Out. 
coming out on top of the avocado. One there, and then you get a little one. To Ooh, double it double up. chicken? Yep, the favorite. And then we're going with the cheddar cheese, which should melt. The chicken is so good. I don't know what, how, but it is. I don't even like. It's on a little bed of guacamole. I don't even I just like press this it. down to see if it's the. This will melt a little bit, see how it starts to. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Yeah, I gotta put a little hot sauce on it. Okay. And this is the hot sauce he uses. That's correct. Siete, how'd you find this? I don't know, I just picked it out. It's yeah, bomb. It's good. He did two huge yeah, pieces of chicken. <laughs> Holy shiz. All right, hot sauce me up. Yeah. I there's wish. A sandwich. And there's your sandwich. It's so good. Mm. Thanks, honey. What are you doing now? I'm trying to move it to the middle of the pot. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna open it. There it is. Yummy, delicious. Cheese could be a little more melty. It'll melt. It'll melt more. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, guys. I'm gonna have dinner. We're gonna have dinner. So I'm gonna sign the vlog off here. I hope you guys have a great week weekend whatever thanks for watching we'll see you next time cheers see ya. Do you <laughs> <laughs>